Hello there and welcome to another how-to video by the 7th Layer Podcast slash Productions. My name's Kieran and I'm here today to go through of how to list an NFT for sale. Let's pop on back over to OpenSea and first of all go straight over to your profile here. Now, obviously, to sell something it's got to be something you own, funnily enough. So here's my wallet and today I've decided I'm going to sell my Wolfgang NFT, the 2525. Now this is not necessarily a project that I think is a bad one, but I'm not seeing any growth too much at the moment. So the first thing you want to do is to definitely ensure how much you paid it for, because I don't see any point personally in selling a NFT for less than you bought it for, unless of course you're in some sort of need for money, that's down to personal preference of course, but for me I'm not going to sell it any lower than 0 0.033. So let's pop up back to the top and click the sell button. Now then, whilst I say it's not a project that I necessarily believe in myself, um, I don't particularly want to let it go straight away or for too low a price. Because there could be a rise I see. So personally, I'm going to enter this for 0 0.1 Ethereum or $3.312.13. It will tell you here the fees. So OpenSea will get 2.5 of this. The Wolfgangs will get 5%. So 7.5 of that will be lost to uh, fees, which is fair enough. You want your artist to get some money from the sales is the whole point of this, especially with decentralization. And OpenSea, of course, they're gonna get a fee from this, it makes sense. So I'm gonna click post the listing here. And this is where, uh, I'm not sure if you see it or not, because it's kind of dodgy when it happens. Uh, this is where the gas will come up uh, for listing. Now this is currently $17. Now you shouldn't always get gas for sales but it seems to be happening at the moment. Now that's because gas might be quite high. So at this particular moment, I'm actually gonna decide not to list this, but basically you'll see the full process here. By clicking that you've initialized your wallet that's already connected. If I can click here, confirm, that will approve the token, and then the listing will be confirmed as well. So I'm actually gonna, at this moment, reject that because of the high gas. So that's, I'm kinda of glad that happened actually, because whilst I do wanna sell it actually, it's worth pointing out that gas uh, for your first sale, you will be given a, well, they say a one-off gas payment, which can be quite expensive, maybe up to around the $40 mark. But that is for the first one. Usually I have listed and sold quite a few things since um, for zero fee to be listed. But again, with the gas being high at this current time, they have added a gas charge for this listing. So it's always worth keeping in mind that when you want to sell, even for your first one, if gas is high, unless you're desperate to sell and you're willing to pay the extra money to sell it, um, which kind of contradicts itself, then do not sell at that time. Wait for gas to be low, talking 4 a.m. UK time, late night Pacific American time, stuff like that. So whilst I've, so if you that went through, that would have gone through, job done. But as you can see here, this red banner has come up, couldn't get permission to approve these tokens for trading. Their contract might not be implemented correctly. Please contact the developer. Now, if you've initiated, yourself, this, initiated this yourself like I just have now, then obviously ignore the contact the developer thing. You realise this has happened because of that. So that will explain how to sell your item. And then once you go back into your profile, I'll show a different one that I've listed. Um, for example, the COVID punk here I have that I've listed for one Ethereum. Uh, it will show like that on your wall. And if you click on it, you will see that it's owned by you and it's current price. Obviously that will be blanked out because you can't purchase your own thing. And you can actually lower the price if you decide you want to during. So let's click on here. So if you just want to set a new price, I don't know, let's go to 0 0.5. I won't be changing this. You would click set new price, job done. And that's how you can lower your price after a COVID or not COVID. Well, yes, a COVID punk or any of your NFCs have been listed for sale. Once again, if you have any questions or any specific topics you want covered in these videos, please do let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time. Take care.